Hi everyone, it's Penny here, and today we are on our Smith Wigglesworth book. Voila! Um, all the links will be in the group, so if you're interested in receiving the book in PDF form from a third party source, check out the uh, files in the group. And today we are going to be starting in, of course, we're still in August. I will have the uh, PDF of the Bible margin art, art imagery for the margin arts for our Bible journaling. I will have those printables up soon. I am working on them and I will get them to you for August. And then I'm going to try to catch up and um, backlog or go ahead and go start creating the ones for the upcoming month so because i want you guys to have these i want you to do these daily even though if i can't come on daily um just know that i am working on it and i will try to come on as much as i can but i hope to fill in uh as time comes i hope to fill in each day with a introductory video of what i'm going over just a little expert from this and uh, to provide you with a printable so that you can get deeper into the word so now I'm going to show you the book. So hang on to Smith. Okay, so today is August the 8th. And um, our scriptures come from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 3. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Being a peacemaker. Sometimes that is harder than anybody can realize. Sometimes we have to hold our tongue and turn the other cheek sometimes we have to walk off from a situation sometimes we have to just stand still and just stare <laughs> sometimes we have to yeah bite our tongues um and put our and, and arrest our thoughts because sometimes our flesh wants to um, react in a way that is not positive and that can land us in some trouble <laughs> right that can land into adding some sin to our life too um, acting out in anger, just like, you know, um, Jesus acted out, but he acted, but he did not, he was angry, but he didn't act out on his anger. And just like, you know, for Moses, he did act upon his anger. Um, and there were consequences for that. And in our lives, sometimes the way that we, um, address others and have the comeback as they call it, um, can absolutely land us in trouble uh, spiritually and the Holy Ghost will say hey hold up let's let's back up a minute um, and let's don't get buffaloed and don't get upset and don't get raging just chill out a second um, and the old saying counts 10 before you <laughs> is a good thing right in some situations the uh, scripture reading is from Matthew chapter 5 verse 9 and uh, verses 17 through 24 at any time, you can pause this video. Don't feel overwhelmed if I'm going really super fast. Um, just rewind it. You can also, if it's on YouTube, you can actually use a little icon, the little wheel, the little wheel or the little socket icon, little wrench. I'm sorry, it's a wrench icon. Uh, click that, and you can change the speed. So at any time, don't feel overwhelmed if you miss here or if you need to hear more uh, about the scriptures and things that I list please just um, rewind I don't, so okay or you can follow along with the book um, or with the PDF that's available in the group of all the things God intends for us to be he intends for us to be the peacemakers I won't find a scripture to help me make this point any better than Matthew chapter 5 verse 23 and 24. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and they remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Sometimes people get upset with us even though we may have been having good intentions about taking up for ourselves or um, trying to, to justify ourselves to them. Um, sometimes we take the place of God justifying for us. Sometimes we take the place of God, you know, handling things uh, sometimes the way that we respond 
it's being self-aware of our words, our actions. Um, it's like, you know, when you, when you go through teenagers years, we always giggle, uh, the ladies who have gone on and, and, uh, in that walk of life of raising their teenagers. And then the new mommies that come up and have teenagers, she's like, yep, you wait for the aisle roll. The aisle roll is coming girl. And the shoe and the, uh, and the sighing, you know, and, and that is just, uh, ignore the dog that is just them uh realizing that um you know their reaction and their personalities how they handle things as well and sometimes uh you know other mothers who've gone you know through this will look at the new mom and say yep yeah, there's the eye roll and you're like yeah i know you know and sometimes it's based on okay <laughs> Let's, let's be some, a peacemaker here. We can react in a bad way. We can react in taking up for ourselves, justifying ourselves, when indeed we really sometimes don't need to do that because God is our justifier. Um, it goes on and it says um, about stepping stones. Um, if you remember that your brother has something against you, go and forgive him. Of his transgressions and his trans, you know, his trespasses. That's what, you know, if we can't forgive them, then God cannot forgive us of our trespasses, right? It is so much deeper than getting your own side right to go and get his side right by forgiving him of all that he has done to you first. Uh, forgiveness is a gift that you give yourself, even though you may be forgiving someone else. But forgiving someone is a gift to you, a gift to your heart, a gift to your soul. You know, it's a, a it's a release. And then you go to that person and say, hey, look, you know, in a calm manner, after, you know, everything has gone through, just in a calm manner, write a letter or something or go straight and say, hey, look, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry I offended you. I'm sorry that you felt this way um, when I uh, spoke my opinion as well. Um, and you can have a healthy debate. You can have a healthy argument and walk off and still be okay. Does that make any sense? Um, but there are times when you walk off and things are not okay. There is unforgiveness. There's can lead to bitter. Bitterness can lead to, um, you know, hate and strife and just torment, literally. So, you know, if you have, um, an issue, someone has an issue with you, um, be, you know, the, the old saying goes, be the bigger adult and go and say, hey, look, you know, I thought that I was in the right, but I didn't realize how you felt about the situation and try to understand each other from each other's point of perspective. Um, we all go through things in our minds at times. If we lean to the flesh, we don't bind our mind to the mind of Christ at times. And if we're not walking in the spirit, if we don't have the full armor of God on, sometimes our mind, and that's our biggest struggles at times, is our mind and how that we perceive, other, how that we think that others perceive us. Uh, it's sometimes not necessarily the truth. Sometimes we see only a perspective when there's other perspectives to be looked at. There's other, there's two sides to every story and sometimes there's three or four. Um, there, there's stepping stones, it says, to very, to very rich grace in the area of keeping the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. The unity of spirit. We're talking about being one in the spirit, coming together in one accord, worshiping and serving the Lord. How can you come in, into worshiping the Lord together, come into that unity, come into one accord for the same purpose when you're upset or someone is upset with you and you know it, it kind of bothers the spirit. It hinders the spirit. And we really want to release that um, and not ha not allow that to get a, a bondage over us and put us in through a blanket of shame. We really need to address the situation so that we can go on further and come back and lay down our gift to the altar, um, knowing that our part has been taken care of and now it's on them. Now it's their choice to forgive us. Um, it's their choice to hate us, but at least the, the old saying goes, the elephant is out, out and open. It's out in the room, you know. Um, each one became, they calmed down. Each one came together. And honestly, and honest, you know, and not boastful, not prideful, not, I told you so. You know, none of that kind of thing. But when you come together, in the same mind, the same one accord, bind your mind to the mind of Christ, come and walk in peace, and come and talk things. If you can't talk, uh, there's a lot of people, you can text now, of course, you can send messages, you know, letters, I don't know if anybody writes any letters anymore, 
Um, but that there is a way to communicate now than there used to be. Used to be you'd have to travel and you know or and go and see the person. There was no <laughs> mobiles and there was no ways of communication like they are now. And it says I cannot forgive them because she did that and and he said that you know he didn't recognize me at all and he hasn't smiled at me for at least six months. Poor thing. May God help you through evil report and good report. And that comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 4 and 8. God can take us right through it if we get into the right side of grace. Wow. Have you asked for repentance for the way that you acted? Have you asked repentance for uh, maybe the sin that occurred after the anger came? Um, how did you react? What did you say? Did you have a murdering uh, mouth that murdered the person? Uh, did you have a negative positive was it your way and only your way and your only perspective was the only one that was correct think about that um, God can take us right through if we get to the right side of grace think about that it says friends when you get to the place of forgiving your brother who has something against you you will find that this is the greatest ideal of going on to perfection and the Lord will help us to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace the bond of peace is an inward bond between you and another child of God God wants us to have a pure love a love that always keeps someone else at its own expense you think of others first being a peacemaker at times is very difficult but if you get on the right side of it God will plead your cause he will plead your cause he will be your counselor he'll be your judge he will be your lawyer he will be there for you and walk you through this but you've got to lean yourself unto him you've got to rely on his grace and you got to rely on his mercy as well. You need, you know, asking for forgiveness is not going to hurt. They say, well, you know, that was covered on the cross. I don't have to ask for forgiveness any longer. If you have sinned after you have become saved, I think you need to say at least, Lord, forgive me. I did sin. And some may or may not believe that. And that is totally okay. That's all, but I'm speaking Bible here. Um, just think about that. I know the cross has covered and love also covers a multitude of sins um, but we need to be willing to forgive that person it's not for them don't do it there's it, it, nowhere near for them it is for you it's for you to get on the right side of grace number one ask God to forgive you number two forgive them to God to give it to God and say God I choose to forgive so and so today because they made me feel this way they made me feel like I had to justify myself instead of allowing you to justify me through you with them repent and then go to that person and say you know I'm really I got to thinking and I'm really sorry that 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 happened and I'm sorry for uh, the way I acted but I, I'm you know but I needed to say what I had to say and even though I may not have done it in the correct way who may not have done it on a very good side of grace um, but I'm here to tell you and here to ask you to forgive me of my actions and I'm here to um, come in peace you know wave that white flag and say peace you know, I come in peace I don't come to be negative I don't come to tear you down I don't come to judge you so and so and so and so give that person give Jesus all of that and forgive that person for yourself for your soul for for yourself and then when you go to that person or write that person a letter, be honest. Just be human. Be honest. Show love. Show forgiveness. Show charity. Show, you know, that you actually knew what went on and, and, and you know, you got buffaloed into reacting. And, and don't say, well, you made me. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, we make the choice on how we act. Yes, circumstances and our emotions are tied together um, at times. So... Just, and forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. For, forgive yourself. 
um, circumstances happen. We act. We're flesh. We're not. We're not perfect. We strive to be perfect. But in in through God, that's where our perfection comes from. This is when iron sharpens iron, right here, people. This is when you become self-aware. This is when you become uh, a discerner over your own self. Okay, that's the first thing. The Bible says to get the moat out of our own eye before you get the moat out of your brother. Don't try to go and say, well, you know, you did this to me. You did this to me. You're just going to start it up again. Share what's in your heart and how it made you feel. And ask him to forgive you because if you felt that way, what makes you think that you didn't make him feel that way or in other ways? Think about it. Think about each other's position. Think about each other's perspective in this. Become the peacemaker. Grow up a little bit in perfection. Become the bigger person. Especially if there's two Christians involved. The bond of peace is an inward bond between you and another child of God. That bonding needs to be there. That unity in the spirit. One accord in God's spirit. Being on the right side of grace needs to be there. Okay, everyone, so I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to think about Bible imagery for this one. And the only thing that really is coming to my mind is, you know how friends will shake hands? Um, you greet your brother with a kiss but in the Bible, but, you know, it's about shaking hands. So uh, I'm thinking about doing, like, um, two people shaking hands um, is what I'm thinking about. And I am not a very good, I have a pen and not a pencil with me today. Um, so I'm not a very good <laughs> sketch person. I used to draw pretty well, um, but I'm just going to try, I don't even know where to begin about drawing hand, about shaking hands, but anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to, I'm going to put a, like a cuff or something on the sleeve, um, so yeah, bear with me guys, this is probably not going to be <laughs> nowhere near perfect, that's okay, totally okay, because I am not perfect. And I'm just drawing imagery for my to work off of so that I can create the digital <laughs> for you. So basically, I'm just, um, yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm going to put the thumb in here. <laughs> um, yeah. You can laugh at me if you want. It's totally okay. Okay, so people are shaking hands. I don't know. Let's see. I can do that, can I? <laughs> put my hands together maybe that would help right shaking hands there we go so um but no worries if you can't uh do sketching and draw don't worry the printable will be available um and um uh check out pin uh check out pixabay.com to see if you can find an image that you can trace for your bible um i will try to have a printable up soon for today god bless you and remember that you don't have to justify yourself um, God will go before you and he will plead your cause and he will be your justifier. Um, don't get in that trap of, of the flesh wanting to fight back. Um, your voice is a voice, yes. But um, if you, you know, if you get hurt, sometimes we want to lash out. And sometimes we just need to say, oh, no, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to bind my mind to the mind of Christ. And I am going to set aside and, and talk with the Lord about this and get myself perspective correctly so that I can be on the right side of grace. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone. Bye.